Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. So last time we uh, ended up getting raided. Um, yeah, we were able to recruit one of the prisoners, and uh, the pirates that raided us ended up getting slaughtered. Um, unfortunately, Constantine was killed uh, so shortly after he was happily married to Anna. Uh, it seems like she can't catch a break when it comes to having significant other. Which is kind of sad. Um, I don't know if she's even going to try to social with other people and, uh, you know, find another person. Um, maybe she will, maybe she won't. Who knows. We are trying to recruit one other person still. Um, we have our dedicated crafter, but we can always use more. For some reason, uh, our crafter seems to prioritize uh, making smoke leaf joints over a few other things. Okay, as we start up here, for some reason, Fall decided to drop Cristobal. He's in desperate need of medical attention. Uh, Barrow seems to be tending to one of the animals. Let's see. Talia got a really light uh, gunshot. Looks like Kiro's in a pretty rough way. Anna's cooking right now, but we'll have her start treating. Yeah, Inji is the one that brought the uh, pirates on us. Uh, she was running from them, trying to flee. She is a good crafter, though. Um, Sanguine makes her uh, mood permanently plus 12 there. Uh, she has a little bit of passion for construction and other things, so that is good. We'll see if Barrow can get over here in time to help out Cristobal. It says he's got five hours to go, so... That is promising. She should be able to get there in plenty of time. Tali is in no immediate danger, so hopefully uh, whenever Barrow's finished with Cristobal, she can get in to help her out. It looks like he did lose uh, an index finger, uh, which isn't really any big deal. Uh, it'll weaken his manipulation slightly, but um, yeah, that's not incredibly serious. I hope they're able to cut down this tree pretty soon. Being right in front of the door is really inconvenient. Alright, so he is getting patched up pretty well. Uh, the death counter is still going down. His blood loss is only moderate though, so... Uh, she should be able to take care of him fairly quickly. Tally is fully healed on her own. Okay. Now we don't have power here. Um, there was some kind of huge multiple explosions that showed up here. I have no idea how that happened. I don't know if it was a combination of grenades and rocket launchers. If one of those guys had a multi-barrel rocket launcher or one of those huge cannons. I can't remember what they're called now. That was pretty devastating though. Alright. Looks like he's pretty much fully patched up. He's in no immediate danger. He's even capable of walking again already. Uh, she's gonna tend to his asthma, I'm sure. There we go. So he's all set ready to go. 
Looks like Kiro's doing pretty well as well. Alright. I'm not quite as worried, so I can speed up the time now. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a bunch of these tended to. Um, I had to go through here and look at the weapons we have available. Looks like Stoll's dropped his gun whenever he was taken down. Uh, he went down here, yeah. Yeah, that's a normal assault rifle. I'm not sure what the difference between an assault rifle and an LMG is. Let's take a look. Accuracy is pretty low. For an LMG, damage of 8. Warm up 1.4. Range of 25.9. Let's take a look at this. Range of 31. Damage is a little lower. Burst shot is a little bit lower. The warm up is a hair faster though. And the accuracy is way higher. So things like the LMG, the minigun, stuff like that is good for the kill box. Uh, because you don't need a lot of accuracy for such a small area of destruction. Um, the assault rifles clearly are going to be better for uh, hunting, um, for more long range kind of stuff. So I might give uh, Barrow and Crystal both assault rifles rather than the LMGs since they are primary hunters. We got the vitals monitors finished finally so we'll be able to put those in to the hospital area here maybe get Cristobal's lungs replaced so he doesn't have to worry about his asthma anymore. Okay we have the uh, possibility of making components. Um, that's something that we are running a little bit low on pretty often. Uh, being able to construct these is would be really beneficial to us. Uh, I think we need those. It looked like we needed those for even armor pieces. Um, I know we need them in a lot of construction for different things so those are really important. Uh, Multi-barrel weapons, I think that's going to be... Yeah, miniguns. Charge rifles, energy projectile munitions. Uh, that would be pretty nice. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, some transport pods would be kind of cool. Uh, fire foam might be pretty useful. I'm not sure exactly how they work. Uh, it says they're buildings. So I imagine you just place them in various areas and they have some sort of radius where they're able to control fires. That would be nice around our uh, plants. Um, I don't mind some of these walls burning down because I eventually want to replace them with granite anyways. Uh, that's what I did up here the last time there was an explosion. Uh, discharge of power and stuff. I replaced that with granite. Um, so of course that would be a slow process, but eventually I do want to get all these walls replaced so that the compound is a little bit stronger. Uh, refining, we found out we don't have to do that yet. If we were going to research transport pods, we might need to do refining so that we could uh, make the chem fuel for the pods. Uh, carpets, I don't think we really need. Um, I don't know what sort of beauty benefit carpets are over uh, tile floors, so I don't know if that would really give us much of a benefit. Psychite, we could research. Uh, okay, we could make flake and yayo. A euphoric drugs. Um, eh, not really interested. Mortars would be good if we get sieged. We could siege them right back. Um, 
IEDs, explosives, not super important either. Auto door is not really important, but it'd be kind of nice to have. So I think... I think we might go into refining, uh, get the ability to make chem fuel, and then we'll research uh, transport pods. So we can check that out. We need to get to uh, tech level of spacer. We're still in industrial for right now. Um, and so that's doubling the cost of researching things like power armor and all this. Uh, mini guns we could research for a regular cost. Uh, deep drilling is regular cost, but power armor there, uh, crypto sleep, some of this more advanced stuff is just uh, too high for us, so it's multiplying the cost there. Hmm. I'm trying to change my mind all the time, but let's just get this done. We'll go with that. See how it how it turns out. NG here could go with uh, equipping an assault rifle. I think I'll have Cristobal equip this one down here. That was his old one, so we'll just have him go grab that. Uh, and Barrow. I would like for her to have a more accurate weapon, especially if she's doing any hunting. Um, so I might have her swap out her gun. But I'd rather she not just drop her LMG on the ground somewhere. I'd rather she uh, bring it over here to the stockpile first. Alright, so it's super dark uh, pretty much all the time right now because we're in both volcanic winter and in eclipse. So that's kind of troubling. Where Constantine is dead, so this uh, unfinished Kevlar helmet will never be finished. Oh, I could just cancel it and it turns it back to components and steel. That's good. And Barrow can work on the armored vest, if you will. I don't understand why they keep dropping stuff on the floor like this. I don't know why they take it off the table and do that. Yeah, for some weird reason Anna's at a risk of a major break. I just can't imagine what that could be. Let me see what Barrow is up to right now. Training Ensign. Well, I could just tell her to drop gear and then come over here and grab this oh that's a really really kind of shoddy quality but we'll see how it goes okay they are dropping their clothes off so uh, that's not being wasted we need to get Constantine cremated here so that uh that one negative thing will go away. It's gone away now. We need to get all these corpses out of here, which would be ideal. We're leaving a bunch of stuff laying around. 
I could probably put a roof over this area here, uh, just so that when this happens, uh, these things won't degrade quite as quickly. There's a power armor helmet that would be super useful to wear, but unfortunately, since it was worn by a dead person, it's going to have uh, some negative associations there. I want to make sure these are unchecked because I really dislike the animals following our people around after they've been trained. I still do have quite a few wild boars. Uh, one of them's pregnant again. Only two are capable of hauling right now, but uh, these three are getting up there in age. You can tell by the circle here. We have a bunch of baby turkeys still. Um, one thing I was thinking about is changing the areas. So that the animals are not allowed uh, in here. Yeah, because it seems like a bunch of our animals are getting killed all of the time uh, running around in this area. So if I just disable them from being around here, then hopefully they won't hang out in this zone. Um, if they want to come in or out, they can use these doors on the sides. Uh, hopefully that'll encourage them to stay more around these areas instead and they won't be getting killed all the time in the kill box. Ideally that's the way it works but we'll see how it goes. Okay we got a bolt goods trader coming in. Which is pretty nice. Let's see is Anna asleep right now? She's not. She's headed to sleep though, so let's get these people treated with. Okay, do we sell our huskies or do we keep them? We have a lot of them. We have a lot of boars, we have a ton of turkeys that we could really get rid of. They're worth quite a bit. I think we'll wait for right now. Oh, let's buy some pigs. We need pigs. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see here. What they got? We want to keep all of our food. We don't need to buy any food. They're selling components, but I don't think we need that. We don't really need to sell any of our textiles. We could sell some of our herbal medicine. Um, they're charging a lot for it, so I think selling it, we're probably selling it at a pretty low price. I might have scrolled right past it, but I was looking to see if they had any, uh, neutromine. rid of these dead things. Man, I can't believe how many clothes we have to get rid of here. They do only have a thousand, so I gotta keep an eye on that. Noxicillin. They have some herbal medicine. Yeah, I really don't see Neutroamine, which is what I was hoping we would be able to get from them. Kibble, pemmican, and all animals up here. 
so I don't think they have that. I think selling these uh, clothes off is going to be good enough. I could rationalize getting rid of some of our animals. Um, in fact, I think might as well get rid of a couple of turkeys. Yeah. We'll go like that. Because we still have tons and tons of turkeys. I could get rid of that male turkey as well, since we have more that are growing up, but we might just slaughter them for food or something. Okay, we got everybody cremated over here. So that's done and over with. Uh, we picked up most of the useful weapons, have them equipped already. So that's good. We're starting to get this area cleaned up some, because we've been cutting these slate blocks into, well, slate chunks into blocks. Uh, there's still a couple more hanging out out here. It looks like we mined out some plasteel uh, that needs to be picked up as well. Everything's ticking along pretty good. Now it was brought to my attention too that we haven't uh, opened up this uh, creepy enclosed area. Um, early on in the series, I think the first episode, even one of our colonists said they had an eerie feeling when they were walking around this uh, thing right here. So I am thinking about opening this up. Um, I could either just deconstruct one of these walls here. Uh, try to place a door or something like that and just see see what's inside here. It could contain quite a number of things. There's crypto sleep uh, caskets that could have uh, really good characters inside of them. You could have really useless characters inside of them. Uh, there could be mechanoids hiding out in here. Mega scarabs. Uh, stuff like that. So it's either going to be a really beneficial thing to open up or it's going to be super scary and either way I think we're gonna have to get this opened up and checked out Tali is going for it okay so what have we got here psychic soothe pulser one use artifact which gives us a temporary mood boost to everyone on the map. That's pretty cool. Psychic Insanity Lance drives any character to Berserk from any distance, even through walls. And Luciferium, which if I remember correctly is a preventative... Yeah. Mechanites. You have to moderate regular doses every five or six days. They lose cohesion, causing continuous rage and eventually death. So we don't want anybody using that stuff. And this stayed closed, which is pretty cool. I thought it would uh, pop open. Contains unknown, and so there might... Yeah, there might be somebody in it still. Uh, who would we send down to check it out? Maybe old Clark. see how this goes. Okay, the dogs hold the Luciferium in there. Huh. I don't know, I don't remember how to check this out. Okay. So we found Baffin, a vet, age 88. Wow, he has pretty incredible skills. Uh, 
pretty great passions for everything. Construction, social, animals, medicine, melee and shooting. Lazy, uh, which means he works slower. Chemical fascination, which is kind of bad. But yeah, interesting. Another old guy. Uh, it looks like he was a slave. Um, no faction affiliations, so even if we rescue him or uh, capture him or anything, if we try to release him, then uh, it's not going to make any difference. We could just stick him back in the casket. Um, I'm sure that would be totally fine. I don't think we need him. I wanted Vulture here for the crafting and animals. He has pretty good animal skill, but no crafting. Construction, medicine, social. He could be another one of our traders if Anna's ever injured or asleep or something like that. He could trade with people. Huh. Decisions, decisions. Let's see what happens if we put him back in there. Alright. Cool. Okay, well, we have a, uh... We have a guy in a crypto casket, so if we ever... Need another colonist. There he is. <laughs> we could just pull him out and uh, capture him, recruit him up, all that kind of stuff. I mean, as far as I know, he's just going to stay alive in there and be fine. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, it looks like the all of the artifacts that we found in here have been hauled inside, which is fine. Now with this limestone wall here, it's only slightly weaker than the granite, which is nice. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a prioritized target for attackers to try and get through here rather than run through the kill box, but I think they almost always prioritize the path of least resistance, which would be this area right here. Um, I'm hoping that that's going to always be the case. I imagine if they send the sappers like we've had before, they might try to target these walls, and in that case we have such a small choke point right here, it would be easy to uh, get them killed as they try to come through. Of course it might destroy the crypto casket as well, so... That'd be something to be aware of. There's a metal tile here. Wanted to take a look. It is a two. A beauty of two, so that's something to consider. We could use metal to tile some of these floors if we wanted to. We got alpha beavers, which is good. We can use the meats. Get them selected to be hunted. I haven't taken a good look around in a while to see if there's any panthers or snakes. It's kind of hard to see in the dark. Um, thankfully it's not an eclipse still, but we are having the volcanic winter. If you remember, that said it could last anywhere from a few days to a few months. So we'll have to see how that goes. Hey, we received some cargo pods crashed. Looks like synth thread. That's pretty nice. Please don't explode yourself on the uh, 
Boomalopes. The Green Crag Treaty are attacking immediately. Uh, hopefully they don't go for NG. We'll see whether that's the case or not. Um, do we have anybody else outside? Doesn't appear so. Okay, she is going to walk around this direction. Let's try to tell the animals to get to the safety area and see if they'll uh, go around the top and around the sides and stay out of the kill box. Alright, that's all of them. Let's get everybody else. Draft them up. Uh, Stole can be up front with Cristobal. Talia over here. Barrow behind here, maybe. Kiro's got a shotgun. I'll try to put them there. Clark, maybe back here even. So we'll see how this goes. It looks like they're all headed for this area here. Uh, NG should be fine running around the back. The turrets are already activated, so we should be good in that respect. I think Vulture's recruit chance is still 99% because I saw Anna failed with a 1.4% chance. So we might have to rethink that recruitment right there. I'm not sure about this placement. Oh, Barrow's able to shoot from there. That's kind of nice. Donkey's getting close up here. He's been taken down. Born. It's Jason Born. Oh, he's down. Okay, they're on the run now. Colonist needs rescue. I think that's Kuro. It's down right now. Oh, she got her cracked spine there. Got stabbed in the head and bruised up in the torso. Looks like she got shot by Stoll a couple of times. Angie can go back about her business. Cristobal's been injured again. Uh, just a minor injury cut from a short bow. Man, he has, <laughs> he has a lot of stuff going on. Um, Let's undraft everybody. See how bad? Yeah, Kuro wasn't that bad. Let's get a Barrow to rescue her. Everything else is business as usual. Pretty decent uh, work there. Okay, but we do have a few people downed. Uh, snake. Excellent growing skill. Uh, decent animal skill, but no passion. Uh, crafting passion, but a very low level. Pretty slowpoke pyromaniac. So she can't extinguish fires, which is kind of annoying. Uh, decent character overall, not too bad. Let's see what we've got here. Abrasive, but a green thumb. Mining, growing, and cooking are their skills. Nothing very, very interesting. We don't need this person at all. Um, might as well rescue him. Um, we'll heal him up and send him back home so that we can improve our relations there. Uh, falls eating, crystals, cooking. Yeah, he just got hurt a little bit, nothing serious. Kiro's the one that really needs the help. I'll have Anna uh, 
capture Snake here. We'll try to get these people uh, killed up and released. The snake's a prospect for recruitment, even though Vulture here would be a lot better to have. Um, 99%. She might be, she might be in here for a long, long time. You know what I mean? So that's something I'm going to have to be aware of. And she's going back to go hunt. The tree really needs to be gotten rid of. Barrel wants to eat, but we'll have him do something else. We'll never do plant cutting. Okay. Well, that was pretty successful defense there. Um, everything set up really well. We were able to discover this area and have a prospective recruit hiding out in that casket there, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Our animals stayed safe during that one. They did go through uh, the proper avenues to get to safety instead of running through the kill area, so that was a successful test. I'm gonna get them all set up for next time. Alright, still got a bunch of pregnant animals, so. We're probably definitely going to have to sell some huskies next time we run into a trader who's willing to take them. But yeah, uh, if you want to make sure and catch the next episode, feel free to subscribe. If you really enjoy the content and you're able to help support it for as little as a dollar a month, you can do that through the Patreon symbol down here. And feel free to check out some of my other content, playlists, and videos that I have available. I thank you for any and all time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.